Hey, what's going on guys? It's Dave, this is GVA Ghetto Van Adventures. So today I'm gonna show you how to do an oil change on a 38 inch cut riding lawnmower. Uh, it's made by Yardworks. It's got a 420 cc engine. Let's get at it. Okay, we're looking at the engine. That there is your oil drain pan plug. See that? So it's, just look for that little thing right there. On this one, it's on the starter side. Now I put a catch pan there. What it takes to take that out is a 3 8 extension, like that, okay? 3 8 extension on a ratchet. Just put that in. There you go. and out the oil comes into the pan so we'll let that drain uh, if you take out this like loosen this off there see how, mu how much faster the oil coming out so we'll let that drain for a little while and uh, i'll put the plug back in i'm just going to start threading this in pretty simple eh Tighten this up. Now you want to make it snug, but you don't want to strip it. So just give it a little, once it's tight, give it a little push, maybe, you know, eighth of a turn, whatever. You know how to make things tight. And that's draining the oil. Now let's go around to the filter side. Okay, here's the oil filter. Now on this one here, it's a bigger oil filter than originally was on it because I'm out of warranty and I just want to use the oil filter I felt comfortable with. And this one here is a lot cheaper. So you just take it and twist. See, when I put them on, I don't put them on ultra tight. There, see, I've got my catch pan underneath there, catching any of the oil. There, now you notice that's a clean surface. And right there, let me show you, right there is a rubber gasket. Make sure that rubber gasket comes off with your oil filter. It has to come off. Now on the new oil filter, just take some of the old oil and just lubricate that gasket, that rubber gasket that's on there. Just make sure there's a little lubrication on that. Now I've cleaned that piece off. Let's throw it on. Now, when you tighten your oil filter, you want to make it tight, but not too tight. You just want to, it, it's usually turn it till it's tight, quarter turn. That's it. That way you can get it off next time without using an oil filter wrench. But if you do have to use an oil filter wrench, I'll put a picture of one in right here. Now, these hold about 1.7 liters of oil. So I guess everybody knows how to use oil. I couldn't find my funnel, so I had to make do with a old dry water bottle. Okay, I put a little more than uh, 1.7 liters in because I have a little bigger filter. Now what I'm gonna do is start it up, circulate the oil through the filter, then check the level again and see if it's accurate. Okay, I wiped it off. Let's uh, put it in. Off. Let's see where the oil is at. And <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but it's perfect. It's uh, past the first dot, almost to the second dot, and there's still some oil running down. So that's good. I'll check it again after I use it, just to make sure. And I'll be honest with you, I check the oil every time I use this machine just just to be on the safe side because uh 
knowing your oil level will inform you if there's a problem going to show up, right? Plus, I like to keep it clean. Now, this cuts uh, maybe four acres of lawn a week. That's what this machine does. So, four acres of lawn a week, um, that's, that's pretty good. That's a lot of hours that this thing does, and it pulls wood. It does everything. So... It's been a great tractor, but I think part of the tractor issue that um, I use good oil, Rotella T6 in 540, and it's a synthetic. I use good oil, and I change it. I change it maybe a little more than usual, but the engine still runs strong. This has been a great tractor. Anyway, guys, I hope this saves you some money, shows you how easy it is. I think even filming, it took me like... 10 15 minutes and that's waiting for oil to drain and everything you guys take care be safe on the road